My very first art project as a child was, uh, aside from the doodles and the drawings that I was doing, uh, I, uh, I like to say that I was a, a young star actor. And uh, no, but I was in a school play and uh, I was very involved with theater um, as a kid. So um, I was just, uh, I think that was my first art project. It was just uh, a few plays that I did in, in middle school or, or elementary school actually. I think that the main thing about a big wall that, um, that attracts me is uh, the idea that someone can be affected by an art piece on such a big scale. Um, and, it, and it can affect many people, uh, not just one. Um, usually when you have a painting, if you're not showcasing it, showcasing it at a gallery, then um, there's only very few people that can see it. But um, with a big wall, you, can, you have many people looking at it and, and appreciating it criticizing it, interacting with it. So that's the main thing. Uh, the bigger the wall it is, is the, the bigger the impact that makes um, in the community or the people that are around. My favorite tool to, to work on big murals, I think is a spray can. Um, because I, I used to do uh, paintings and, and murals with um, latex paint. And uh, the, the colors look very nice and uh, and the longevity of the actual mural, it's, uh, it's great, but it takes so much more time to do a mural with latex than a spray paint. Spray paint, you just um, give it a few, maybe one coat, at, at, uh, and, and you don't need anything else. So I would say just a spray can is uh, my favorite tool. I think that the main thing that I, now I want, I want to hear from people is more elaborate answers or more elaborate responses of my work. Um, I'm very used, uh, I've, I've been through the people that hate it, the people that love it, and, and it's, it's great that people um, connect with them, but I think that, uh, especially in Miami, I think I want to hear people talk more about constructive criticism. If it's a bad thing that they have to say about it, it's fine. Uh, but I want to hear more elaboration on the actual piece or, or on the actual response or opinion that they're giving out. Um, uh, it's easy to go ahead and say, oh, I love it or I hate it. But um, if, you're, if you can just stand there for a minute and analyze what it, what it is that you're saying, uh, I think that um, not only myself, but other artists can benefit from it, get better at, and uh, yeah, we, we can all um, benefit from constructive criticism if it's either positive or negative. So I definitely admire um, the big name artists that like Retina, um, Shepard Fairey, Cause. Um, these are artists that I've admired for a very long time, um, but on a local uh, bases and, and, and uh, I think that there's definitely artists that have inspired me and keep me um, constantly um, interested in making better works and uh, from from people that have are starting to make uh, pieces um, like um, Ivan Roque, uh, uh, Evoca One, um, uh, Dos Alas, um, Ruben Ubieda, um, Daniel Fila, these are all artists that are locals and uh, I think that their hustle or every project that they th put out there motivates me to be like, all right, I want to I wanna make something cooler, I want to make something better, I want to make something that affects the community more. Um, it, it's just a, like a healthy competition that, uh, that I think has it's, it's been motivating me also and uh, um, they've definitely been great inspiration for me. The street art is very important because uh, it's a tool that connects with people instantly. Um, people see the, the walls or people see the, the art on the streets and, and it's an automatic uh, connection. You don't, it, it's, it's there, it's part of your life and, and, um, and you can't do anything about it. Either you like it or hate it, but 
it's there and it's affecting people automatically. And um, it's a great way of expression uh, with it. If it is for something that strikes people on a social and, um, and more, um, more general aspect, or if it's a personal thing, like a personal uh, idea that you just want to express, street art is definitely like a main outlet for that. I think that there's different types of freedom that I feel as far as working on projects inside a gallery and, and, uh, and outside. Um, the, the streets definitely have freedom in the sense that I can paint on a wall and have a direct message or direct communication with the public on an instant basis and, and more frequent basis. But uh, the gallery always allows me to set up or pretty much build my own world um, of characters or whatever concept that I want to work with. So uh, they have different, different um, I guess, uh, outlets of freedom. Um, but I think that in this, at this moment, they're both uh, unique in their own way. Uh, eventually, I want to be able to go ahead and create those same worlds, the same settings um, that I create on a gallery um, outside. So for the time being, they have, just, they have different uh, ways of, of ex expression and, and freedom. Um, but uh, I like both of them. Uh, the street allows me to connect instantly. The gallery allows me to um, work on a more elaborated project. I'm, I'm always working on something. I, I, I like to stay myself very um, busy with, with different projects and ideas. Uh, at this moment, I have an exhibition that's going to be uh, showcased at, uh, in Midtown um, on October 17th. I'm going to have a few pieces there. Um, I also have an upcoming show in New York at, um, at a gallery in the Lower East Side. And uh, I still have pieces in California and, um, and Berlin. So as far as um, uh, exhibitions, I have a few of them that I, I've been able to work on. Um, and then I keep working on the t-shirt uh, side of my work, which is uh, the, more, the apparel side of it. Um, creating products and, and stuff that also inspire me. So those are the main things that I'm working on right now, some exhibitions and, uh, and products. For me, there's two reasons why I, I chose Winwood to be the main, um, the main space for me to showcase. And I think is one, because I'm from Florida, from Miami, Florida, and uh, um, I was raised here, so uh, I'm very proud of what's happened in Wynwood and Design District, so that's one of them. Um, just, and then the other one, after, after started, I started traveling, I've noticed that there's definitely other places in the country that artwork is, uh, is predominantly strong. So, But Wynwood has an essence that it, I wanted to capture, and being from here, uh, I think I chose to stay here to contribute to what's happened here. It, it is happening here and um, at some point be, be a bigger part of it and uh, be able to um, inspire others that are actually working in the same community. So th those would be the two main reasons uh, that I'm from here and that uh, I want to contribute to to the movement. Well, Art, Art Basel is a it's very interesting time in Miami. Uh, so I think at this time, uh, I, the way that I'm preparing is just building up a good amount of, uh, of works that I can showcase through Basel. Um, I don't have one set exhibition yet. Um, so I'm just working on producing a great amount of pieces. Uh, for the past few months, I've been developing uh, specific concepts that I want to showcase. Um, and I feel very confident and, and, and I need to put out there. So I'm just working on the paintings right now, producing a lot of paintings, uh, getting better um, with the works, the strokes that I'm doing, um, evolving my craft as much as I can, as fast as I can. So 
hopefully by the time Art Basel gets here, I have every single day booked with uh, with something that's happening and just uh, showcasing the work. But for now, I'm just painting a lot.